Hey guys, you know what time it is? It's time to set up a new classroom. <sighs> I don't remember being this overwhelmed when I started teaching my first year and getting a new classroom and being like, here's four walls and here's a bunch of empty space. Create a vision. I don't remember feeling like this. <laughs> but here we are. Here's my dilemma, okay? Walk through this with me. The teacher that was in this room this past school year is moving classrooms. So a lot of the stuff in here is hers and it's moving up with her. And then there's a lot of stuff in here that's not hers from the year before or the year before that. It's not going with her. So I need to purge it or decide to keep it. I think I'm gonna start with like small tasks first because I can't move any, I should have started by saying this. <laughs> I can't move my furniture in yet. It's all in the hallway. So I can't really start like designing the room, but I can get an idea of where I want things to be. Like my desk, my teacher table, my library, things like that. And then once it's like middle of July, I think or end of July, I can start to put furniture in from the hallway. So I think right now, I'm just gonna like create the layout in my mind and then purge the things that I don't want from the past teacher and then also take down things from the wall that I don't want. That's already up. I'll give you guys a little pan of what the room looks like now because it's gonna be, it's gonna be a big transformation, y'all. Just wait, just you wait. This is what it looks like. Some things that are gonna take some adjusting, personally. Tile floor instead of carpet, brick walls. Not used to that, but it's okay. And like these giant posts. I don't know how to feel about these. <laughs> um, but I have a lot of bulletin boards. I've got one over there, one over there, and one over here. Got a whiteboard. They use a projector. I'm used to having a smart board, but obviously can accommodate and get used to that. My desk is probably gonna stay over here. I might take the teacher table and move it back there, just cause I usually like to have a bulletin board behind my teacher table. Um, that desk over there has to stay. That's gonna be like an instructional aide or coach or somebody that just kinda has home base in here, but isn't um, in here all the time. And then a lot of this stuff, y'all, is labeled with my name, which means it's mine and I have to go through it initially. Like these bookshelves will be great for my library. I don't know if I want to keep them over there. I might want to move them. Well, here's my thinking. I wanted to put this back here, but if I want a flat wall for my library, that's that's the one. But then again, it's like, what else am I going to use this space for over here behind these posts? It's kind of awkward space. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> that's all science stuff that I need to purge. And this is where their little backpacks get hung up. I'm used to having lockers, but this is good because then like kids can't leave. Like when they have a locker, they leave so much stuff in their locker. So this is good. Um, I'm definitely gonna take this down because I keep walking through and hitting my head. Tall girl problems. Um, they're not doing foundations anymore next year. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep the foundations posters up. Might take down the marking up ones, but then leave the ones that show like the vowel patterns because those I feel like are resourceful. I already started taking these down, but I'm taking down these posters up here. I like the idea of keeping up the foundation's letter line, but I don't like that it's blocked by some of these. So yeah, that's just initial thoughts, y'all. What do we think? First thing I did was get rid of all the posters on the wall that I didn't want. The ones that I'm not sure about, I'm just leaving up for now. But I'm getting rid of all these. crates. There's a lot of crates in here. <laughs> um, but I found out from the principal that I'll probably be able to move all my actual furniture in middle to end of July. So that's exciting. There's more milk crates over here. I got more. <laughs> um, I heard originally not till August and that kind of stressed me out. So July would be awesome. 
and my sister's currently, it's not almost 10 o'clock, my sister and my mom are on the way. They're gonna help me bring up some stuff from their cars that we loaded last night into the hallway. And then that cleared out all of the furniture in my dining room. So now I only have things left in my guest room. And I'm not gonna bring that stuff in until like later, later, because it's all like decor and setting things up. Right now I just need to get the furniture in here to kind of get a vibe for what it's gonna look like. No. Honestly, I will give anybody five dollars that knows what this is. What is this? What is this? It's heavy is what it was. <laughs> Next item in question, I will give five dollars to anybody who knows what the heck I could use this for. These are so thin, so narrow, that it can't be a mailbox. It can't be a mailbox. What am I gonna use for mailboxes? All right, Kitty is here to help. She's got some stuff in her trunk. Hey, sis. Let's do it. Let's do it. Lucky for you, there's an elevator. It's on the second floor? Yeah. I'm videoing, Mom. Oh. Keep coming. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> hey, sister. All right, y'all. I just got to the gym. I decided today that, like, I just didn't have the energy or the willpower in me to go and purge in my new classroom. But the good news is, is that it's only Tuesday, and I have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week and I can go back any day because the principal's gonna be there all week. So super excited to deep dive into that. I'm also hoping one of my friends can come and help me because she's gonna be really good at doing the whole purging thing because she's worked there before, so she knows a little bit more than I do. So anyway, I'm very excited to start this process and vlog it and take you guys with me. Um, I think I'm probably gonna do each vlog will be two days. So I'm not gonna end this one. I'm just gonna go back tomorrow or the next day and do these two together because this wasn't very much vlog so far. It is day two of classroom setup and I am purging. My friend Kelsey's here. She's a second grade teacher too. And we are purging these resource cabinets because there's a ton of stuff and she knows a little bit more about the school than I do. So she's gonna help assist me in deciding what to keep and what not to keep. All right, me and Kelsey have been at it with these cabinets for like two hours probably. We got here at like nine and right now it's 11.30. So yeah, probably about two hours. Let me show you guys how much trash we have and give you like some context. All right, so first off, this is all the trash that we've compiled, three barrels full. And then I'll show you what's inside these in a minute, but this is my easel. And then this is all stuff that like basically is extra supplies or things that I don't know if we need anymore. Look at all that chart paper, guys. Like literally like 20 things of chart paper. I put a couple on my easel and hung some back here with binder clips, but I don't need like 20. Magnetic letters, um, like fraction things, math stuff, calculators, student dictionaries and thesauruses. I just don't know if we need it, so I don't want to keep it. And then this one's pretty much empty. The only thing that I liked from here that I kept was some of these math games or writing things. So I kept those just in case I ever want them. But I have all this space to fill now, which is great. And then over here, I kept some sandwich baggies. I think this is like tech stuff. This looks like a dock camera and like things that go with my projector. So I'm keeping those um, tissues whiteboards, lined ones from foundations, and like plain math ones, I think. Oh, these are lined too. Reading notebooks. I don't know if like I'll ever use them, but there's like a whole class set, so I'm keeping them just in case. Um, down here we've got math curriculum, 
spiral notebooks that are brand new, F&P folders from my past students, science curriculum, glue. <laughs> I'm gonna have a system for like organizing school supplies like I did in my last resource cabinet, but for now that's what I purged from this closet that I'm keeping. Pipe cleaners, this is maybe where I'll keep like craft stuff. Over here is just like a bunch of Ziploc bags and science curriculum. It's not organized. This, my friend Kelsey helped me organize. It's like all construction paper or cardstock. And, oop, it like barely fits though. There was so much car construction paper in here. And then this one I think is pretty much empty. This thing was in there. It was brand new, so I'm like, I might as well keep it. And I think there was something else. Yeah, flip chart. I don't know. I just wanted to keep it. I thought this was cute. It looked brand new. Actually, I'm gonna throw that out. I also forgot to film this morning, but if you look in the earlier clips, I had all the foundations posters up here. I took those down. I took down all this, took off all the sticky dots because Kelsey said that most of the second grade teachers don't even use them, so I took those off. Took off the foundations line because it was being blocked there. Took off the number line. Took off some tape off the ground. So did a lot of, you know, purging in here, not necessarily like stuff wise, but at least um, get rid of some things that I didn't like. And next project is either gonna be the math cart or this little thing that I guess is mine and locks, but there's a ton of stuff under here and I don't know what it is, so eek. Okay, not sure if I'm allowed to do this. Also don't mind the book of things behind bookcases, but I really want this to be my reading area and all four of these fit like perfectly. So I don't know if I was allowed to move those. They were already in here, but I do need to create like a, like a map. The teacher before me made a map so that they know where to put everything. And I want mine different obviously. So I just played around with it to put those there. And then I'm gonna clear everything off top here. I might even move this table over there as like an entryway table for where they can like put their folders and things like that for me to check. All right, I just cleaned this out. Um, I don't know about any of that stuff if we still use those curriculums or not. So I'm just gonna keep those in there until uh, the first day of school. And then all of these, I don't need these. So I'm gonna go put these in my pile of things. I also had this piece of furniture. I don't know if I showed this to you guys yesterday. I don't need this. I don't want it, I should say, so. <sighs> Too much stuff. I also made my sort of rough map. I don't know if I needed more than that, but that way they know if they have to take anything out, that's where I want it. I am officially done for the day, and I think this is gonna wrap up part one of classroom transformation. Um, I consolidated some stuff over here and I swept and I did that last little cart outside. And yeah, I know it still doesn't look like a lot, like you probably like it looks the same as when you got here, but I threw out a lot of stuff. I cleaned out a lot of cabinets and I created a vision on the board. So this was day one and two combined and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll definitely be back this week, if not next week to um, clean out probably that math thing which wouldn't take long so I wouldn't be here that long for that but yeah that's it feel free to keep up with me on Instagram and TikTok because that's where I'm doing more of like the day-to-day -day updates this is more of like a big big update so follow me on there subscribe on YouTube and comment down below if you have any ideas for my new classroom or any questions about it and I'll try and answer those as quick as I can love y'all